Hi everyone, it's Camila. I hope you're all having a good day. If you're new here on the channel, we mostly do speed builds and today I decided to do a quick tutorial on how I use the platforms, the new platform tool that we got, or more specifically, some ideas that I wanted to share with you. But first of all, I'm just going to show quickly how you can place objects freely off the grid because I receive a lot of questions on how to do that on my videos and on my Instagram reels. So I just wanted to show that to you because there are some objects that are placed that way in this video and I just wanted to avoid receiving that question again. So first of all, you will need to activate the Sims 3 camera instead of the fourth. So you need the one at the right. And in order to do that, you will need to go at the right, top right of the screen and select the good one. After that, you are going to press Ctrl Alt plus C at the same time on your keyboard and enter the three cheats that I will write on the screen. The first one is BB move objects on. You really Really need that in order to move objects freely and then the other two are more so you have more objects in the game so the first one is for hidden objects that you don't necessarily have when you open the game and the third one is for objects that are placed in the worlds of the sims then i'm just going to grab a little table in order to show you how i do it so this one is by Snowy Escape, I really like it. But anyway, as you can see, when you place something on a table or even on the ground, your object won't be able to be placed at certain angles and you won't be able to place it the way you want. But if you hold Alt, you will be able to place them at the angle you want. As you can see right now, it's a little different than at the beginning. And now there's some very nice tricks that you can do with your keyboard. I'm just going to talk about the American one. I don't know about the other ones, but if you want to size up an object, you will press this little touch. If you want to size it down, this one. If you want to elevate the object, you will press nine. And if you want to put it back down, you press zero. So note that in your notebook, and all these four commands are super useful to make your builds more interesting. Now, I showed this super quickly because it wasn't necessarily the point of the tutorial, but if you have some questions or some details that you want to know, I will put as much links as I can in the description so you will be able to find some more infos very easily. Now, the first thing that I wanted to share with the new platform tool was how to do a staircase in the middle of a room. So I started by doing a fireplace to make it more interesting and then we're going to do the staircase behind it. So this object that I'm putting right now is from City Living. It's a living room table. And you probably notice that if you place a platform in a room and that is very close to a wall that will delete the wall that is close. So the technique that I found was to do some fences, then elevate the platforms. So as you can see, I'm selecting the little squares that I did, the two by two squares, and then I'm elevating the platform. So for the first square, I only elevated once because your Sims can't walk on a platform that is, for example, two levels higher. But if you're only elevating it once, it will work. And then I'm deleting the fences because it's not really looking good. And you will place a basic staircase at the end of it. So it will be playable because otherwise there wouldn't be a hole in the ceiling for your sims to walk on the second floor. Thank you. 
this one I already shared it in my reels and I just want to say that most of them you never saw it on my Instagram so don't worry about that if you're following me there but basically you just have to build two little squares with fences around the bed and then elevate the middle platform twice and elevate the bigger one only once. So that will basically give you little stairs in order to access the bed and I feel like it's super interesting for a bedroom. Now this one is super simple but I still wanted to show it because it's super cute. You're just building again a rectangle with fences. This one is a 2 by 3 rectangle. You elevate it once, delete the fences and then you can place a little bath. This one is from Spade but you can choose whatever you want. And then I thought of adding these wall dividers from Equal Lifestyle. I think it looks super good. All the rooms that I'm presenting today will be on my gallery Camila YTB for download. This idea is to do a loft with the platforms so you can choose the size of the loft that you want, elevate it as many times as you want and then you can place a little staircase, a normal one or you can even use the platform in order to make another type of staircase. It's as you wish. It's super simple and very fun. Now, as you can see, we have brand new sizes of half walls, but they're not going on the platforms. They're going kind of at the bottom of it. So you will have to take a pretty good sized one in order to make it bigger than the platform, as you can see from what I showed. So if you want to make a little division between the loft and the rooms that are close to it, you will just have to take the good sized half wall. That's pretty simple, but you just have to keep that in mind. For this one, I will show how to do a bunk bed very simply. So first of all, you gotta do a 3 by 2 rectangle with fences again. And then you're doing three little squares of one by one. And the first platform that is a rectangle, you will need to elevate it four times. So after that, the first square is three times and so on. So it does kind of a staircase. Then you can place either a double bed or even a single bed. And you place a second bed and elevate it with the nine key. So you gotta be careful that the bed is touching the platform and that your sims will be able to walk on the platform and go on the bed. It's also super important that it's at the right level, that it's not lower or higher than the platform. And then you will go into the debug menu. For that, you need the cheats that I presented at the beginning of the video. And you will also need to write star star debug star star. In my case, it's debugage, but it's because my game is in French. So don't take that as an example and take debug as I will write on the screen. For the next one, I'm presenting two ideas in one. So one for a bath and one for a shower. So you just need to do a platform that is two by three and elevate it three times. And then you will do a little staircase. As you can see, at first, I only had two levels, but I decided to add one. So it would look better in my opinion. So as always, each platform needs to be one level higher than the one before. And then you can use kitchen cabinets and place them at both sides of the bath and use a little half wall to make a very cool separation between the bath and the rest of the bathroom. But you gotta be careful to use Use a good sized half wall in order for it to stay playable. For the shower, I thought it was a cute idea to do a little table to place some clutter in the shower. I also noticed that when you place the platforms, it can remove some objects like for example the curtains or move them a little like these columns. So if that happens, you just need to replace them. It's a little bit annoying but nothing too bad. For this one, we are doing it outdoors, but you can of course do it 
in a house it can be super cool as well so i just built a seven by seven square platform so for the first time i'm actually using the platform tool instead of just building fences but then i'm just building another fence again and I'm elevating twice the bigger platform and then lowering the smaller one once. After that, of course, you need some stairs. But as you can see, I had to make the square bigger, otherwise it wasn't working. So sometimes you will have to play around a little with the platforms in order to make them work. There's some exceptions like all the functionalities in build mode. And then I thought it was super cool to do a pool around this sunken lounge. So you can do that super easily for your mansions or very luxurious houses for your sims. The next idea is to make your gardens look better and a little bit more interesting. Of course, I think it would be more for luxurious houses. So then I'm again using the platform tool in order to make some shapes. I kind of did a little labyrinth. It's not necessarily something super useful, but it can make a garden look good. And as you can see, I tried to place the plants before placing the platforms, but it was just elevating the plants. So basically you will probably have to use only small plants and place them after placing the platform for them to stick to the ground instead of flying. This one is super simple but I thought I could share it anyway. So it's kind of a bed side table at the back of a bed and you just need to do a platform again with fences as always and you can add a lot of clutter on there. I think it's super cute and it allows you to place a lot of different objects behind the bed. Then I have another staircase idea with a pool. So you just need to build a pool of the size of your choice. For this one, I don't remember exactly how many tiles I used, but I decided to expand it. And then I'm doing again two by two squares in order to make the staircase with the platforms. So I'm using the same process as I did for the whole video just elevating the platforms and all and then i'm placing windows on the pool because it's a really nice view when you're climbing the stairs i guess i thought it could add a lot to a luxurious house again and of course don't forget to place real actual stairs at the end of the platform stairs You'll probably have to do this one outside, but I really wanted to share on my YouTube channel how I did these bridges for my Japanese sanctuary, one of my last builds. So I'm just going to delete this one in order to show you. But basically you can do a two by one room and then add a second one at the top of it. Then you will need to delete the first one that is at the bottom completely you delete everything and then you just keep the flooring of the second one so you delete also the walls and the ceiling of the second room just like that and then you will move the little platform at the bottom like that with the arrow and then you will make it bigger and make it cross the little river that you will have done before with a pool. Then you add stairs in order to make it accessible for your sims because yes, it's fully playable. Then you can add fences, add a flooring, and as always, you build some fences in order to make some cool levels in your bridge. 
and delete the fences. I also just got an idea that you can do to make your bridges look better. So this one is made in the exact same way as the one that was red that I just did. But I thought of adding four columns, some fences in order to do kind of a roofing that is original. Or I guess I could call it a pergola. I'm not really sure how that is called. But I'm using the base game fence like that. And you can do pretty much what you want with that. You can do some triangles. And then I usually add plants. These are from Island Living and Jungle Adventure, but this one is from Base Game. So I always use this one when I'm doing Base Game builds. And then you just delete the ceiling. This one was harder to figure out for me, but you pick the triangle platform and then you will stick it to the walls to make a diamond shaped. Then you will pick the two arrows at the sides and make it bigger. And then you will add another triangle on the top of it and make another diamond smaller. So you will have kind of a stair thing just like the bed we did at the beginning of the video but this time for a bath i think it's super cute and it looks very good and the last one that i'm presenting is similar to the bunk bed but in my opinion it's one of the best that i'm showing today so you have to do a rectangle of two by three and then you will do a lot of different squares as you can see so just remember the size and the shape so you will be able to do it or maybe take a picture i don't really know the rectangle will have to be sized up six times and then you will size up the other platforms in order to make a staircase like the other times in order to do some bunk beds and everything you will need the middle wall height or the tallest one then you add a double bed in that case and as usual you gotta be careful to place it on the platform and add the level of the platform then you go into the debug menu again you pick the same columns of course you can pick whatever you want for that but i just wanted to show you how it looked like with my favorite one and you will have to place four of them this time then you can place a bookcase under the bed but i prefer to have a desk and then I can have a bookcase on the top of the platform and it does a very cool bedroom with a lot of different stuff. So that's pretty much all I had to share with you today. I hope I could show you some ideas you never saw before and give you some inspiration. If you enjoyed the video, don't hesitate to leave a like, it means a lot to me. And maybe subscribe if you want to see a ton of speed builds and sometimes some tutorials and ideas. Of course, you will be able to download all these rooms on the gallery. My ID is CamillaYTB. So thank you so so much for watching and I wish to you all an amazing day. Bye. I watch you as you dry. Do you know I'm looking? And I can't help but smile. Do you know how much I love you? You put my favorite song on. I put my